Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're talking about the plasma membrane. We've looked at this analogy that the cell is kind of like a city. And for a city to function properly, many things need to get in and out of it. Well, the same is true for a cell. So we're going to take a look at how does things get through the cell membrane and it maintaining its selectively permeability. The selective permeability of membranes allows for the formation of concentration gradients of solutes across a membrane. So here we can see in this example where inside the cell there are more solute molecules compared to outside the cell, which means that we are going to have a greater concentration gradient inside the cell compared to outside the cell. So the greater the concentration of molecules, the higher the concentration gradient. Remember that there always has to be something separating these two areas. In this case, it's going to be the cell membrane. And so when we talk about things moving from high to low or low to high concentrations, this is what we're referring to. Either moving down the concentration gradient or moving what's called against the concentration gradient. One way that things can get in and out of the cell is through passive transport. So this is the net movement of molecules from high to low concentrations. Now this is the natural tendency of all molecules. There'll be more collisions on the higher concentration side than on the lower concentration side. So that's gonna push molecules from that higher area to the lower area. And because this is just the natural tendency of things, no energy is needed for this movement. Now there's different types of passive transport. There is simple diffusion where molecules will simply, because they're small enough, can pass through the cell membrane, can go from high to low concentrations. An example of this might be oxygen. Oxygen that's in your blood, it needs to get inside the cell. It goes from a higher concentration outside the cell to inside the cell. Another example is osmosis. Osmosis is water going from high to low concentrations. And a third type is facilitated diffusion. So these are larger molecules that need to travel through one of those transport proteins. We'll take a look at this specifically in another video. Now some molecules are really big, and so they can't just simply go through one of these transport proteins. The cell has other ways of getting them inside. One process is called endocytosis. This is the intake of large macromolecules by forming new vesicles derived from the cell membrane. So the cell membrane simply envelops these larger molecules and brings them inside of the cell. Now the opposite can actually happen as well. In exocytosis, this is where internal vesicles will fuse with the cell membrane in order to release those large macromolecules. Real quickly, that's just ways in which things can get in and out of the cell, and I'll see you in class.